Happened just recently, I was on my phone laying in bed when the bed started to violently shake. I got out of there fast. Yeah, girl, that's called an earthquake or a demon under your bed. Either sounds rational, but what's up guys? Today we are looking at some more creepy Home Alone stories, but this time I'm gonna try to rationalize everything. I'm gonna try to debunk all of them and just make them sound crazy like me. But as always, don't forget to subscribe, be part of the Socially Awkward family, and follow me on Instagram and check out channel memberships. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share. And comment below if you have a creepy Home Alone story. But don't tell strangers that you're home alone. That's, that's not smart. But yeah, I think we're ready, so let's do it. Had three long claw marks on my stomach when I woke up. No one was home. Well, do you have a cat? <laughs> oh my god, they showed a picture of her stomach just to be clear what she's talking about. Because I don't know what a stomach is. Thanks for the visual. Yeah, I bet she just has a cat. Because that happened to me. I tried shoving my cat off my lap because he was being a jerk. And he latched onto my leg and went all the way down. And I had these three long tiger marks on my leg for a month. It was kind of cool. I felt like a warrior. <laughs> Someone rang my doorbell when I was home alone when I was 13 and threw a mannequin arm on my stoop. That's creepy. <laughs> Are you sure it was a mannequin arm? And they weren't just throwing evidence on your porch? <laughs> Maybe it was a delivery for your parents because they're weird. I, I don't know, I can't rationalize that. <laughs> Some crackhead just threw a mannequin arm on her porch. Living in northern part of Mexico, the drug cartels war was very intense in the city where I live a couple years ago. Yeah, cause that's normal. I was waiting to cross the street when I saw a big truck dumping a plastic bag that happened to contain a dismembered body. The worst part is that nobody did anything. I just waited for the light to change and ran. And then she stopped running very quickly cause she's very out of shape. Girl, she says this so nonchalant. Like, oh yeah, I lived around a bunch of murderers most of my childhood. It's fine though. It made me a better person. Got some street cred. Once it was 4 a.m. and I woke up and I couldn't move or talk or scream. Okay, that's sleep paralysis. And I heard my sister talking outside my room, but turns out she was sleeping. Yeah, she was just talking in her sleep. I have a friend. Sometimes she stays the night when we're hanging out and she moans so loud in her sleep. She's like, hmm. it's like a scream and it scares the crap out of me. Cops came to my house cause someone dialed 911 for hearing yelling in my home. I was alone all day. Girl, I know you lying. I know you had a guy over and you got in a fight cause he wanted to eat the last Hot Pocket and you ain't trying to get caught with your man cause your parents were out of town for the weekend. Was playing Connect one night, it detected a second player. I was alone. Yeah, that's creepy. I think Connect is known for that cause I got it when it first came out and it was not very accurate at all. So it thinks your couch is probably a person cause it's fat like you. This happened to me when I was about eight and still scares me to this day. Oh my God, what happened? One evening, I went to let my dogs in from the back garden at around 9 p.m. It was pitch black, so I quickly opened the door and my dogs came bounding in. As soon as they came in, I locked the door and at this moment, a person on the other side pulled the handle down trying to get into my house. Oh my gosh. We had a glass door, so even in the dark, I could see the outline of a man standing there. I ran to my dad and he ran into the back garden after this man and saw him running down the road. Since then, I have closed and locked the doors at the speed of light. <laughs> that is so crazy. She opened the door and didn't even notice someone waiting there. Well, that's just a crappy burglar because he waited until she closed the door. You dummy, you gotta run in. Well, what if it was Santa or the Tooth Fairy and you just chased him off? <laughs> now no one's dreams will ever come true because of you. Doors and cupboards started opening and closing randomly in the night. No, that was your sibling looking for a snack. <laughs> or you're trying to copy the paranormal activity scene where all the cabinets just explode. <laughs> I was going to sleep and since I was home alone, I locked the door of my bedroom. Woke up to all my things in the middle of my room. The door was still locked. Yeah, that's creepy. Um, maybe there was a small earthquake in the middle of the night while she was sleeping? Lots of those earthquakes you can't feel. They're very small, at least around here. And it just slowly moved all of her stuff to the middle in a nice neat little pile. Nah, it was a demon. I used to have a truck that I swore had the ghost of a dead baby in it. Then why'd you keep the truck? 
I used to get home late from my job as a dishwasher and after I parked and was sitting in my driveway with the engine off, I would hear this really faint sound of a baby crying. Late at night when it was quiet, it used to make my arm hair stand on end. I love how people try to sound so intelligent when they write a little story. I used to get home and hop out of the car in fear of hearing it. One night I decided to sit there and just listen, try to pinpoint the sound. Eventually I discovered that it was indeed not a dead baby, but when I undid the seat buckle, the old spring of the seat belt retractor would slowly start pulling the belt in, creating a faint noise that sounded like wailing. Okay, everyone knows that noise. Well then why are you even posting on here? That's not creepy. You're just dumb, clout chaser. A bird fell down my chimney and wouldn't stop flapping and wailing. I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> well, let the bird out. I heard someone saying my name over and over again. Ugh, there's a string coming out of my shirt. This thing's brand new. Stupid. And I was home alone. And then I heard someone walking on the floor right outside my room, but no one was there. Do you have a dog? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, that girl's creepy. If she was in my house, I would hit her with a shovel over the head and then throw her out the window. Like, girl, figure your life out. I heard voices in my attic, and when I went up to my room, the attic door was open when we kept it locked. Well, maybe there was a possum up there. I've had possums get into my house, like in the vents, and then they start trying to claw out like a demon. True story, that happened to me. My dad was standing over the vent with a knife. <laughs> he didn't hurt it, but anyway, back to the point. It was just a possum family and then they opened the attic door to get out. Problem solved. Woke up one night to some noise downstairs. Xbox was on and the Kinect was moving up and down every so often like it does when you set it up. Turned it off and went back to bed. Next morning, I booted up the Xbox and TV and started Kinect Adventures. Several pics were taken last night of in-game action, but no one was in the pictures. Well, just let the demon play some Xbox. Let him enjoy life, what's the problem? Selfish? <laughs> Share your video games. I was alone in my bedroom and fell asleep as everyone does in their room. <laughs> Next thing I remember was the feeling of someone stroking my hair softly, but no one was there. Well, she said she was alone in her bedroom. Doesn't mean she was alone in the house. So maybe your parents were just trying to cuddle or your brother was just trying to creep you out and was messing with your hair like, hey. <laughs> I was looking in the mirror and the person in the mirror wasn't me. No, it was one of my nine personalities. Cause I'm crazy, you psycho. I walked past my bedroom and could have sworn I saw myself laying on my bed. When I checked again, nothing was there. Well, that happens to everybody. <laughs> like you're walking and in your peripheral vision, all the clothes piled up on your chair looks like a person trying to kill you. So you're like, what the heck? And it's just clothes. You're fine, I think. Giggling from a little girl. That's a weird way to start a sentence. <laughs> I live in the middle of a country road, no neighbors for miles, and I don't have any little sisters. Well, you do now. <laughs> Demon girl picked you as her sister. <laughs> Go with it, or you will get murdered. Or honestly, it might be a hyena. There are animals that sound like people. I was asleep and Siri started talking. I no longer sleep with my phone. <laughs> well, you was probably talking in your sleep. What, what was this conversation? What can I help you with? Play me some pop music. <laughs> the demon is just trying to listen to some kids bop. Let them vibe, what's the problem? <laughs> my old coworker had a son that was in his mid thirties and he had a son named Hunter that was four or five. She said that Hunter would have bad dreams and that he would sleep with his dad when he got scared. One night his dad woke up because he heard Hunter calling him, but he was calling him by his name, not dad. My parents would be so weirded out if I called them by their first name. <laughs> He woke him up and said, Hunter, you were calling me. Is everything okay? And Hunter said, Dad, when they call you, you're not supposed to answer. And then he fell back asleep. He asked him about it in the morning, but he said he didn't remember saying it. I get chills when I think about it. <laughs> well, don't think about it or put on a jacket. That's what they're for. Problem solved. If my kid said that to me and then just fell back asleep, I'd be like, kid, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> when who calls you? You ain't going back to sleep on that. And that's it for creepy home alone stories, part two. Hope you are equally as creeped out. Again, don't forget to subscribe, be a part of the socially awkward family and follow me on Instagram and check out channel memberships. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share. But yeah, that's it. So I will see you creepy people next time.